Hey everybody, it is Steven Totillo from Kotaku and we are looking at Star Wars Battlefront today and the reason why is because this thing right here, the Death Star, is a new DLC pack added to the game today, but only if you have the season pass. If you don't have a season pass for Star Wars Battlefront, you can't get this DLC for another couple of weeks. I have a season pass and I'm on my Xbox One here and so we're gonna jump in and uh, try this out. I'm gonna be on the Rebel side the main new mode in Star Wars Battlefront's Death Star DLC is called Battle Station. It's gonna be three stages of combat, uh, aerial combat, foot soldier ground combat, and then aerial combat again. Uh, you get pre-assigned to be either the Rebels or the Imperials, and um, you have different obligations and tasks in each one. Battlefront is not a game I play a ton of, so, uh, warning, the level of play is not going to be that great, but hopefully you'll be able to appreciate an early look or a day one look, day negative 14 look, whatever you, however you want to count it, look at this new DLC to see if it's something that interests you. This is um, uh, hopefully uh, a breath of fresh air for people who felt like there wasn't enough aerial combat or objective-based stuff in the game. Not a breath of fresh air for people who don't like uh, long loading screens, by the way. I've ha this was happening before, and I thought it might have been a fluke, but it seems to be happening, um, I guess, any time I go into a match. Battle Station is not the only mode, but it's the most interesting mode, which is why I guess it's set up by default. Um, so, yeah, uh, Battlefront came out about a year ago, and the controversy when it first came out was that it didn't have a ton of content to it. Didn't have a lot of maps, didn't have a lot of modes, didn't have a lot of vehicles, didn't have a lot of anything, and felt pretty skimpy for a $60 game and the reaction from a lot of folks was this is just like rushed out it's not ready uh, bit by bit EA and the development studio DICE were I'm so sorry this load is so long by the way folks uh, bit by bit EA and DICE were adding uh, added content some of it free but most of it paid through further expansions we're going to be going in finally into this mode you saw the objectives there I'll play as an X-Wing and I haven't yet figured out, because I only played a couple of rounds of this. Okay, you caught that. So I am trying to fight, uh, uh, fend off the TIE Fighters and attack the Star Destroyer so that the bombers can come in. I think mostly I'm fighting the TIE Fighters, not the Star Destroyers. So um, let's see. you're going to see some bad aim, folks. I'm just telling you now. Oh. Um, but maybe you'll like the graphics or something? Or, oh, oh, that guy, that guy. Um, yeah, so it was content light and they added a lot of stuff through DLC. So there was a Cloud City. Oh, I got a, I got a hit on him, does that count? I had a lock on, I should have shot him. I'm better on the ground, he says, until we get to a ground base mission. <laughs> I'm better at the ground, ground levels too. We've got we got Frank with us as always. Oh, attack the star destroyer. Okay, I can <laughs> I can hit this. I am sure of it. Oh, uh, look at all the points I'm racking up now. Slow down a bit. Okay, so we have we should have why yeah why wings coming in. I believe those are AI controlled. But uh, this is the basic dynamic of this and it's gonna sort of be a turn taking thing where we're gonna be doing um, uh, defense of the, or excuse me, it's attacking the TIE fighters to enable the Y-wing bomber runs to come in and then I guess, yeah, taking out TIE fighters to trigger the next bombing run and then here we, here we go. So we're back to the TIE fighters. Now, the, the Walker Assault mode, I think, had some of the same dynamics. I haven't played it in months, but there, you, there was turn-taking there as well, and basically the idea was that the better you could do when you were on offense, the shorter the session when... the shorter the session that the other team would have when they, when they were on offense. Did I, did I kill a guy? No, I didn't even kill him. <laughs> So uh, I noticed some people talking about the GameCube, and I assume you guys are talking about uh, uh, Rogue Squadron and Rogue Leader, the Rogue Leader games, which were such terrific games. Yeah, there's no chance I'm going to be able to take out Slave One. And yeah, they—I mean, they had big, epic space battles. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's Slave One coming back after me. No, there was a Tie Interceptor coming after me. 
they had really epic space battles, but obviously this is designed more for multiplayer. The GameCube stuff was single player. You can't, they've added some more single player ways to play basically against bots, but I haven't seen a way to do that in this mode. Uh, I could have just been missing it through the menus, but let's see. So there's three points of attack. Oh, let's go for the one on the bottom. So yeah, sorry I, uh, I'm not very good at the game, but again, I wanted to show you guys. Let's show it to you in action. I'm more of a gaming generalist, always playing new, a new game every day, and I guess that really keeps me from giving in, giving enough hours to a multiplayer game to get highly skilled at it, and I just really prefer a lot of the single player stuff. Oh, shit. <laughs> that I can, I can be playing, because stuff like that doesn't happen to me. Uh, let's see what you folks are all saying. Love trigger to lock your lasers onto enemy ships. Thank you, Jason Wadsworth. Let's see if that helps. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Look at that. The targeting thing tightening there. Okay. That might change everything. Oh, look at that. Wow. Real game changer. Right? Wow. All right. Jason Wadsworth, you're my hero. Okay. That's great. Oh, no. Oh. Okay. That sucked. Okay. So yeah, not a lot of ship variety. I noticed somebody commenting on that. There's a, when I was doing a battle over the Death Star at one point, I saw a TIE Defender, which I had to go look up in Wikipedia what that was. And I guess it's been around for since the 90s, but I just hadn't remembered. I don't, I don't remember ever seeing them before. Um, but it's this weird, like, three-wing looking TIE Fighter. Oh my goodness. The Star Destroyer has taken damage. Oh. Set up for an yeah, someone asked for you to do a barrel roll, and you just did one. I, hey, man. I. I I am an obedient and well-trained Star Fox player. All right, I'm getting I'm getting the lock on. I feel like I have a future in this. I don't know why I haven't played it in so long. I played a little bit of the uh, Cloud City Vespin stuff uh, when that came out. Yeah. So the question is, and maybe you guys can figure it out. Uh, if you're astute at observing how this all works, what is going to be the benefit to my side, the Rebels, in terms of our performance in this level? If we do well, if we like take out the Star Destroyer, how is that going to feed back into the? How is that going to feed back into the next round, of the ground combat? I'm not sure. My guess is it's going to give people uh, longer or shorter uh, chance on offense and defense, respectively. Take that right you. The lock-on is definitely helping me. Thank you again, Jason Wadsworth, for that advice. I'm not sure how I neglected to learn that. So I guess take down, take a one more TIE Fighter, and I guess we'll go on another bombing run. OK. So we've figured that out. Target the destroyer subsystems. They're exposed. All right, subsystems. Here we go. Subsystem taken out. Focus fire on another one. All right. Nice. Got a generator. Then I got killed by Pearl Jam. This is Pearl Jam, 1997 guy. <laughs> Okay, so this is, the, as you guys can see, the Death Star's in the background, and we are on a timer. I, when I first played the round, uh, this is the third time I played battle, the Battle Station mode, and when I was first playing it, we got through this really quickly, and I think it's because we had fully taken out the Star Destroyer. And I'm guessing, okay, maybe that's it, right? So the, is, the bombing run is what enables the weakness in the Star Destroyer to then attack it. That's gotta be it, right? That's correct. I, I think we had taken out Frank, how do you know that? How do you know uh, Well, it's like the Walker assault. It's the same idea, really. Once, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, once, yeah. once the Y wings come in and start bombing. Right, because that's when you can attack the Walker. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Just thinking about it in terms of Star Wars physics, if that makes sense. It's 
speaking of Star Wars physics, they've removed something thanks to uh, this week from Star Wars Battlefront. And some gamers, <coughs> excuse me, uh, I saw talking about this online, were happy about it. But yes, they removed something and people are happy. What could, the, what could they have removed? Well, I'll tell you, they've removed the ability to play as a stormtrooper that isn't wearing a helmet. Apparently this was really controversial among fans of Battlefront, and they thought it was taking them out of the moment, especially because there was somebody, I guess they called the Granny Trooper, and it was an old lady character, and she, uh... Doing my, trying to do my part. Um, and, uh, yeah, you, you could unlock basically a stormtrooper that was an older lady, like she was like in her 60s, and she didn't have a helmet. And people were not into that and other helmetless troopers, so they, stormtroopers, so they took them out. And the developers did a live stream and they said, they know there's, there's people who are upset when you can play as like the Cloud City guard on Hoth, but they sort of go with that. But being a stormtrooper without a helmet made people feel like they weren't a stormtrooper, and so they thought, they thought that was kind of bad, and so they removed it. And people were like, they could, you just choose not to be that stormtrooper. No one's forcing you to be that character if you don't want to be it, right? Yeah. I, like I said, people were happy. You don't, you don't often see people happy when something is removed from the game. All right. So 30 seconds. It looks like we're going to fail to destroy the Star Destroyer. It's pretty close, though. 30 se Well, we'd have to take out oh, that many four tie more TIE yeah. Fighters. Oh, only three more TIE Fighters in 24 seconds. I'm sure I'm not doing my part. Two fighters. Well, at least I'm... Oh, here come the Y-Wings. 18 seconds. It's a real nail-biter. 14 seconds. Are we going to do it? I, I think it's going to take you 14 seconds to fly over there. Take down this. that destroyer or we'll lose our last cruiser. Oh, we got it? That's... Did we get it? It's pretty Something... much on the wire if it happened. <laughs> I don't know what just happened, because we got to z zero. I guess the bombing run con continues to count. We took out all three. Oh, no, shit, the comm bridge. So can we get there? No way. Look at the amount of health there. So I guess those three things. Yeah, and there goes the last one. So we, we failed. We needed to have taken out the comm, uh, the comm bridge up there. We were close. So close. Yeah, defeat. I think the health bar was like at halfway. OK, so we've lost this round. Uh, I did get one kill, thanks to <laughs> finally learning how to use the, the lock-on. I, I got some points for the team for something, maybe a third worst. Okay. You got the highest objective score. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at that. Come Good on, you. people. Highest objective score. You saw it happen live on Facebook. And hopefully we will get moved on to the next round. One of the things people may want to look into is that uh, I think they have, if you have EA Access, I think they've made stuff a lot cheaper. So EA Access is a subscription program. There's basically a million different ways to buy this game. Uh, one of them is just buying the regular version. They have the deluxe versions and all that kind of thing. But EA also does the subscription program, EA Access, which at least before Battlefront came out, was giving people, I think, a 10-hour trial period with the game. EA Access is now offering more like six-hour trial periods with games. I think those trial periods are offered even after the game comes out. In addition, they do things like they let you play the game a few days before release. It's not applicable here to the DLC, which has its own weird scheme, as I was describing before. Uh, but that's something, I guess, also to look into if people want to sample the game. I don't think there's a proper demo. That won't give you access, though, to the DLC, so you wouldn't have access to the Death Star stuff that we're looking at today. You wouldn't have access to the Cloud City stuff. Um, I mean, this is typical of, like, the big, expensive, public, rich game publisher schemes where it's you know buy the game buy the dlc buy the expansions buy all this stuff uh for those joining late we're playing star wars battlefront we're playing the dlc for uh called basically called death star dlc we're playing a mode called battle station which is in three phases so the initial phase was a battle over a huh why are we actually back oh, here so you're getting two rounds you have to be the uh, you're the rebels for one round now you're the uh, imperials for the next and then maybe we'll move on Seems wrong, because when I was playing before, hmm, Frank, maybe do some, see, see if, check Google or whatever and see if we're doing the, doing this the right way, because I'm pretty sure Battle Station, what should have happened, what I thought was going to happen was we were going to be down on the Death Star, and we're going to be fighting on the Death Star. Hmm. Folks, we're investigating, this didn't happen in the previous two matches that I played. 
and I don't want to uh, force all the viewers here to watch a whole other nine minutes of something they've just been watching. At least it's good for all the folks who did just join. Yeah, for the folks who did just join, you were watching, and now we're on the Imperial side with a barely alive star, uh, TIE fighter looking for people to fight. No. Pearl Jam. So it is the same group of people. <laughs> that guy, yeah. I'm just wondering I'm wondering if we inadvertently wound up in a flight only mode and we're just being perpetually match made into just the space combat. Our star destroyer is vulnerable. The rebels have destroyed its shield generators. Protect it. The new mode is called Battle Station, right? Yes. I'm not finding a lot of information about this, but if I recall yeah. from the Cloud City one, I do remember playing the two take rounds. Turns. And yeah. you, so you each get to play EA website both sides, had a, and then you get to move There's an official like Star Wars EA website blog post or whatever about it. They, they may explain it. I just, it's, unless I happen to get match made into each of the last two missions, that I, last two matches I played in this, in the final round of the... Aerial combat. Yeah, someone else because. confirmed the same thing here on the stream. So Ryan uh, confirms that while you play each side once before. Me. So maybe you joined on a. Uh, I must have joined really earlier, you joined later. the later version. Yeah, I guess so. Just, just helping people out in the, in the final moment. So someone else suggested that we should take a shot every time. Everybody should take a shot every time you kill by Pearl Jam 1997. What do you think? Should did we get, I, should I get some AI? Alcohol? I just keep killing AI, huh? I, I'm all excited. I'm like, I killed, I actually killed another player. Yeah, folks. I mean, if you want to risk alcohol poisoning, take a shot every time Pearl Jam 1997 <laughs> kills me. Uh, cockpit view? No, that's not cockpit view. This is cockpit view. Okay. Hey, that looks pretty cool. Oh, oh here, comes, here comes Pearl Jam. Is it Pearl Jam? Yeah, I'm too claustrophobic in there. I can't see anything. Imagine how the imagine how the Imperials feel. Think of the Imperials. Where is everybody? Much harder to spot TIE fighters for some reason. Y wings incoming. Okay. Where are they? Where are they? Shouldn't they be right here? Our destroyer shields are fallen. Those Still just killing AI. Kind of sad. I do. I don't even know what you I got did. An, I think you got an actual player? Okay. Or, did someone, or did someone steal your kill? But either way, you did some good I got an objective. I got something. I guess I can't shoot that, that Y wing anymore. So I'm curious what people out there who've played Battlefront think of it. Did you play a lot when it came out and then trail off? Or has anybody kind of come to the game late and had impressions of just. I wonder what people's battlefront journeys have been. I could speak a bit to mine while we're waiting for some yeah, comments. Frank, why don't you um, tell us about your battlefront journey? I bought a PlayStation just for Battlefront. Wow. Uh, I was an Xbox guy for the 360, and then my brothers all had a PlayStation, and friends all had PlayStation, so I figured I'd make the Switch. Bought Battlefront, played it for months. Actually got kind of decent at it. So you didn't think it was content light? You weren't like, man, there's nothing here? There was plenty to do. I had a couple buds we played almost every night. Uh, so we made a point to spend time with it and get good at it. And um, I think I like the drop pods, the mo that mode, the best. Uh, drop so yeah, pod mode. I don't with the drop pod mode. That's know. where yeah, a pod falls every couple minutes, and you have to go collect it before the other team. Oh, yeah, sorry, you have to defend it uh, for a certain amount of time, and then it opens up and gives you power ups, and it can be captured by somebody else if the other team comes and takes it. From That's the other thing is I have. I mean, we'll see this when we're doing the ground stuff. I do not have good cards. So you probably had good cards that you Yeah, unlocked unlock everything at that point. So uh, I kind of burned down on it, though, before, before I bought the season pass immediately, but I burnt out on it immediately. Like, 
right before the first was um, released. So outer outer rim outer or rim. whatever the job of the hut stuff. Yes. Uh, so we played that for a few weeks, and then um, Cloud City came out, and I think I touched it once and was sort of over it. I moved on to other games. Wow. So I have the dangers of buying a season pass right there. Yeah. Whoops. So I had this waiting. For, I have this waiting for me at home. Uh, the Death Star stuff, and it's nice to see it now, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna get to it. Hope so. What are people saying out there in commenter land? Logan's still playing. He's saying it's uh, really fun if you go in with a team. And this is uh, a lot of people seem to be pretty excited. This was the Death Star seems to be the one people were waiting for. Yeah, so. the one after this is based on uh, the new movie. Was that one called again? Uh, Rogue Force, For Force Away. Oh, the, the newest movie. Yeah. Rogue One. Rogue One. I didn't know they were doing any uh, Rogue One. Any newer movie tie-ins. I thought they were not doing it. Yeah, the last DLC for this game, which I think comes out next year, is Star Wars Rogue One DLC. I had initially thought that this was coming out later in the year and that this was going to be done to kind of hype alongside the Rogue One movie. Rogue One movie because that movie is so much about the Death Star. Um, how are we doing? Let's see, we've lost our top two. We're not doing so hot. Either. They're definitely. Oh yeah, they're just killing us. Wonder, wonder why. I wonder if there's like a bad player on our team or something. Who could it be? Who could the weak link be on our team? Objective achieved. I don't know what objective I achieved given that. Uh, they are kicking our ass. We have two and a half minutes to do what we only had 18 seconds to do and practically did. But I understand the way the level works a lot better, so I feel like... Oh. Maybe that's the benefit of having to play through it twice, so you can start getting used to it. Yeah. And then you move on <laughs> entirely. For the record, I have not been killed by Pearl Jam in a while. That's good. Maybe he bailed. He was intimidated. Uh, graphically, I would say this is good, but not quite blowing me away. Um, it's sort of what I would expect from a multiplayer-centric game where they can't really go too crazy with the quality of the art. I like the debris floating around, but I don't... There's a rebel fighter behind you. I don't know. Feels more like competent, high-end competent. So it looks like they still haven't fixed the problem where it takes you know a minute to get to the action once you spawn in. Yeah, I always feel like I'm flying too slowly, but yeah, it's been it's been the it's been the problem with the flying level since I started playing last year. Frank, I had no idea you were such a battlefront expert. <laughs> you learn something new every day, I guess. Oh man, did I get that guy? Oh, so now they're coming after the bridge. Oh shit. Doing the best I can, Imperial buddies. One minute, we are screwed. Yeah, I'm just too weak against the Y wings. Could you not really destroy the Y wings in uh, Walker Assault? Yeah. Oh, um, uh -huh. not sure. That I don't know. Didn't play a lot of Walker Assault. Really? That's like the mode of Battlefront. We like Turning Point a lot. Like turning point is pretty fun. I don't know Turning Point. Kind of similar, except you're just um, you're capturing different points along the route. Right. Well, are we actually going to make it? I don't Shocking. I guess if we can stay alive for 25 seconds and not all get taken out, okay, that's my job. I should just go hide somewhere. Daniel brings up a good point. He's saying the game was so content light, and if you didn't start on day one, everybody was already leveled up too high, so you couldn't really get too far without being... Yeah, there's, there's, some equaliz there's some equalizing being done, in, in, at least in terms of the flight modes, because you don't take the power-ups uh, that you gain through the rest of the game into the flight modes. Mm -hmm. So, Oh, look at that, two kills in that. Or in less, in less than <laughs> and, we, and you won, by the way. And we won, yes. Most Starfighters destroyed Pearl Jam 97. Pearl Jam, man. Okay, so in theory, we are now going to the Death Star itself for the second phase of Battle Station Mode. So who are the new playable characters in the next mode? Uh, 
Bosque, which I, I mean, talk about people being upset by canonical discrepancies. I think that you remember Bosque? He's like he's the a lizard. bounty hunter, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's the lizard bounty hunter. Uh, and then uh, Chewbacca. Do you know Chewbacca? I'd never heard of Chewbacca. Yeah, it's a new one. New Bosque, one. yeah, I totally know who Bosque is. That's cool. They're kind of they're, they're running pretty low on the Imperial characters, though, huh? If they're pulling Bosque. Uh, yeah. I mean. That's... Might as well pull like IG88. Who you know would they I mean? who would they pull from a Death Star theme level from Imperials? Like Moff Tarkin? Grand Moff Tarkin, run, yeah. Run around as him. Older. You can already play as a lot of Imperial officers in the game. It's true. I don't know that they're named, so that wouldn't I'm not sure. You couldn't really pay, play as the trash compactor monster. That wouldn't work. No. Do you remember it taking so long between rounds? Uh it goes back and forth. Some some updates are very fast. Some updates they take a long time again. Uh, this is the longest I feel it's taken in a long time. All right, so here we go. We are defending. The rebels are coming in trying to steal R2-D2. You guys remember this part of the movie, right? When <laughs> the rebels came in to rescue R2 or uh, other protocol droid. It's my favorite part. Okay. All right, here we go. Thank God I'm wearing a helmet now. God, it would have, this would have sucked if I had a helmet. It would have been so unrealistic. All right, I'm just checking the, just checking my corners there. Just checking the full uh, extent of the level. Aren't you a little short for a stormtrooper? Oh. 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 Whoa. See, now we're gonna see that people are are pretty powered up because we're going to see what uh, special things they have. Uh -oh. Do they have more hut contracts for this particular DLC? Uh, I, I don't even know what hut contracts uh -huh. were in the game <laughs> when I was playing, I don't think. Uh, when they started doing the, all the season pass stuff, you get to unlock um, new star cards and new guns if you, you know, kill 10 people with a, with this blaster or, you know, I don't use know if cooling cells enough yeah, times or something like that. Get cocky. <laughs> I don't think there's any risk of me getting cocky. Hey, what's up with this rebel? Oh, that, oh, that is a player. Okay, you just the other guy walked right by him. So yeah, my star cards are pretty weak because I have not played much, so I have pretty garden variety stuff overall. Oh yeah, the, just the, the regular grenade, the homing missile, which they nerfed a long time ago. And, uh, what's the one on the top there? The cooling cell on top? Yeah, which it just keeps my yep. gun from overheating. This goes to 100, but the rebels are in theory grabbing a protocol droid. So the player then controls the protocol droid, and I, I don't know if it's actually R2-D2 or if it's just random protocol droid. Not protocol droid, astromech, sorry, whatever they are. Um, and then they, they play them and they only have the very limited abilities. Like they can blow smoke and a couple of other basic things, but they don't have great offensive capabilities. I've not encountered hero characters that much in the couple of matches that I've played. 
Darth Vader, when I was playing with the Rebels, was kicking everybody's ass. That's pretty typical. Have you seen Chewbacca in action yet, then? No, no more boss. And I just reali I realized I was accidentally tracking my, my buddy. <laughs> there. Shame on me. You have a thermal detonator there you should check out at some point. I tried it once and it just uh, didn't really hit anybody with it, so I'm being discouraged from using it again. It's right there, just for you. Did I kill anyone with it? No. Oh, this is a regular grenade. If you do both uh, both triggers, you throw a special. Oh, that. Actually, I don't think it's a thermal dent right now. It's a mine. Approximately three seconds. So I, just, I just plant it and yeah. move on. Free kills. Yeah. Oh, they're, they've really pulled ahead. Not because of my continued dying. or anything? No. Yeah, we're getting, we're getting crushed. 90 to 73. It's looking rough. But I feel like I'm learning a lot and that if I stuck with this, I would have some hope. Because it's clearly pretty casual. There's a lot of auto-aim and lock-on stuff throughout. What is the, the thing I have on my right bumper? What is that? Uh, the homing missile there? Oh, no, it's an iron torpedo. Never mind. It's not even a homing missile. That's better yeah. for destroying vehicles. Oh, in yeah. which there are none, so Not it's kind of worthless for your, for, your, for your case right now. Oh, and they just want It's anyway. good for walker assault, good for killing ATSTs, all that stuff. Four kills. Better than Bogatti. Better than Igneous Kaiser. <laughs> oh, wait, Pearl Jam's on my team now. They rebalanced it. That's why Pearl Jam hasn't been killing me. Uh -huh. Switched over to the dark side. So is it gonna make us play a second round as the rebels now? We'll see, the and then the and then we'll do the third. Uh, then we'll do a final stage over the Death Star, I guess, with the trench run. Nice. I think that's how it'll all work, but we will find out. Folks, this is a, I guess, a big part of EA's push in the fall to have Star Wars Battlefront out. They stagger things, so you get this, and then uh, Battlefield One is one of their big releases in October. Obviously, they also have FIFA uh, and NHL just came out. I think those are the big EA games for the fall. And they tend to counter-program against Activision. So Activision just put out the new DLC for oh, Madden as well, but that already came out. Okay. Um, counter-programming, <coughs> excuse me, Activision just put out the new DLC expansion called Rise of Iron for Destiny today. So if you have Battlefront, you have new content. If you have the Season Pass and Death Star, and if you have Destiny, you have Rise of Iron uh, available to you. And um, that's a $30 expansion. I'm not sure how deep and extensive it is, but we should be publishing impressions of that any, any moment now on the site if we haven't already. That is Kotaku.com when I say the site. Um, and then uh, they got Call of Duty in November. Here we go. Load screen. It's almost as bad as Recore. Why are we back? Oh no. Defend the st Star Destroyer. Yeah, something something odd is happening in terms right, of the sequencing bizarre. of this. And they may bail out of this mission and then just give you guys some action on over the Death Star because I don't understand why we're back out here. Especially because we just lost as the Imperials, so I would think that we would have then been taken to the third stage, which is the. The, the Death Star thing. So let's let's go back out. Sorry to make you guys wait through the loads and for stumbling through this a little bit. But in the, t the first match that I played earlier today when I was testing this out, I went straight from the Star Destroyer stuff to the um, on the Death Star stuff to then the Trench Run stuff. I was playing as the Rebels. And when you got to the Trench Run, you're, fight, you're, you're in you know, Starfighters over the surface of the Death Star. And they tell you that three players are being selected to make the trench run, and I'm guessing it's the most successful players up to that point in the match. And they, one of them gets put in Luke Skywalker's X-Wing, the Red 5, right? And it has a special healing ability that 
X-Wings don't normally have. The idea is that R2-D2 is in the X-Wing, and so he can... Uh, let's see, actually, list all the modes. Um, wouldn't be able to do it here. Expansion playlists. Oh, select mode. So yeah, Battle Station should have taken us... Who do the thing? Well, in the interest of time, folks, we're going to go to what hopefully is going to be a battle over the surface of the Death Star, but I'm not, I can't guarantee you 100% that that's where we're going to go. Death Star Fighter Squadron. Yeah, okay, we good. Go. And you're, so, the, you're the Imperials, though, so you can't do a run. Yeah, well, so I don't think you can... I th so I think they basically use the same map, whether it's a Death Star trench run, try to destroy the Death Star kind of thing, or if it is just this, what we're about to do, which is a generic space battle that happens to be taking place over the surface of the Death Star. But when you're playing the Battle Station mode, that third phase, I thought, would always be being over the Death Star, as, as it happened to me earlier today when I was testing this out. Like I said, they pick three players on the Rebel side. They say, you're doing the trench run. I didn't play as the Imperials, so I don't know if they also picked three players to do the defense of the trench run in terms of playing sense. as Darth Vader and his interceptor or whatever, and have the other two as the escorts. But um, the players have to go through a series of checkpoints from what I read online, because again, I wasn't able to do the trench run as a rebel. I wasn't chosen, shockingly. I wasn't, my, my great level of play did not allow me to be chosen for the trench run. But the people who are chosen, they have to fly it through the trench, through a bunch of checkpoints, and if they can get through all the checkpoints, they're going to wind up at the exhaust port, and then they fire their proton torpedo or photon torpedo, which Ooh. is Star Wars and which is Star now, Trek. Now you've confused me. I knew yeah. this, and now, now, now your doubt has made me question it. <laughs> one of those is Star Trek, one of those is Star Wars. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm sure you folks know in the comment section. And you, you shoot it, and if you, um, if you don't hit it, they then say they're going to select another three players, and so they did that, and even on the second <laughs> selection of three players, they didn't auto-select me, so... It's clearly not um, not the first or second choice, not even the sixth choice for the for the game in terms of matchmaking. Anyway, we, I can still show you a little bit of how it looks. So, all right, everybody's saying proton, which is what I thought, but then again, I'm going to question myself here. So proton. We, we can go into the trench here and try not to crash and miss the thing in the dude. But here you go. Okay, some modern. Uh, frostbite engine depiction of the Death Star Trench. I don't remember if the if the towers. Oh, we're pretty deep into this mission already, huh? And I'm on the I'm on the losing side. Well, I don't know that I'm gonna be able to help them. I don't remember if in the actual trench run part of the battle station, if they have the towers shoot lasers. But there's not a lot. There's one tower there that's shooting. But they don't seem to do that that much. I feel like in the movies they just missed anyway all the time. All right, I actually killed another player. Amazing. Is that person in the? If you get your right trigger, you can shoot a missile at him once you're locked in. No, I was at uh, I think it was on a pretty long Yeah. Look at that. Two kills already. There you go. Yeah, you're warming up. Getting good. Warming up just in time for the end of the stream. We're going to try to do some Destiny streaming later in the week. A couple of people on our staff, believe it or not, are actually really good at Destiny, uh, Crucible, multiplayer, so maybe we can show you some PvP later in the week with one of them playing. Jason Schreier with his 500 hours or so of playing time at Destiny. Or Kirk Hamilton with his 1,000 plus. But yeah, those guys are very excited to do a lot more PvP in Destiny. Shock, it might shock you guys to find out I was more of a PvE person when playing Destiny. Ooh. I also got the new Forza. I got an early code for that. I want to give that a shot. I think we're allowed to start streaming some of that as of today, but we'll check what we can actually stream 
I was talking to Frank, some of your colleagues, I think, were uh, over in the video team, or Facebook team, were, were talking about maybe doing some Forza stuff, so we can figure out possibly what the schedule will be on that. Yeah, great. Anytime. There we go. There we go. Folks, you've been able to watch basically an evolution here of play from when I started as a lowly scrub, unable to even lock on. And then thanks to one of you, one of you folks, I learned to lock on. I got one kill. Then I got played another round and got two kills. I think I'm up to three kills at three least. Three or four this at round. least. Yeah. I'm only getting four. That is. I hope people are finding this to be an inspirational story. Sometimes people are depressed about life these days. It seems like, you know, the election is stressing people out and everything, but you can cling to this. You can cling to watching me go from one kill to like five. I mean, throw all the shade you want, people, but that's pretty impressive in yeah. the span of 20 minutes. Yeah. Look at that. Challenge completed. 25 kills with any vehicle. An unprecedented achievement <laughs> in Star Wars Battlefront game. As I was saying, my, per my personal preference is um, I'm a generalist. I play a ton of different games and don't real. I've never really, never really been a big multiplayer gamer in general anyway. So even like my one of my first game systems was a Super Nintendo, and I was less a Mario Kart person and more of a, a Zelda and Super Mario, uh, Super Mario World person. Didn't really play that much Smash Brothers when I moved up to an N64 and was more into um, Ocarina of Time. Played GoldenEye campaign far more than I ever played Gold GoldenEye multiplayer. Campaign was great. Hmm? GoldenEye Roland? campaign yeah, was yeah, really yeah. great. Yeah, it was very good. And um, that's always how it's been. Now, I, I really wish that I could be really good at a multiplayer game. I just think it takes that sustained practice and single player versions games that have single player or multiplayer single player never really trains you to be any good at multiplayer the ai is never anything close to the the ability of a uh, human player that's true What's that? why is there a is that a b wing Rob, this game mode is downloadable today, by the way. This is the new DLC. If Jets. you have, yeah, if you have the season pass, so reset for folks. This is Star Wars Battlefront that we've been playing for quite some time now. The Death Star DLC. If you have the season pass, you can get it today. If you don't, I think you have to wait another couple of weeks. And then it's 15 bucks. Um, you get, you get, uh, I don't remember how many maps there are, but it's a handful of maps. It's stuff that takes place above the Death Star or on the Death Star. It's more flight gaming centric than uh, ground combat centric which is a change from the dynamics of the other uh, the other DLCs and even of the main game. And we'll just go to the end of the round here. So two more minutes, we'll see if we can grab the Millennium Falcon a little bit. Where is that? Oh. That never works out the way you want it to. You've never been able to take it down. Do what I can. Oh, yeah. Contributing, okay. contributing to the effort. Enough people on me. Lost it. Okay. A minute and a half to go. Just got the new Yokai Watch in today. I don't know if any of you folks out there are into Yokai Watch. The Nintendo seems to finish games and have them available for us to play sooner, earlier, whatever the right word would be, than any other game publisher out there. Um, so, Yokai Watch 2, now yes, this game already came out in Japan, but clearly localization is finished. So they sent um, Fleshy Souls and Bony Spirits are the two subtitles for Yokai Watch 2. And they sent both uh, copies today, and I have to decide which one to play. I played the first one. I like the battle system, but I, there was actually like more side quests in Yokai Watch than I think there are in The Witcher 3. And it was a bit overwhelming, and you couldn't stack them that easily, if I remember correctly. Not that you can stack quests in them that easily in The Witcher either. You can't track more than one quest at a time, but it just became cumbersome. 
and a little tedious because you have to do a bit of grinding out of quests in order to find and get more of the yokai, so I, I backed off. Also, it's a game made for kids, so maybe there's, <laughs> there's that factor too. But Yokai Watch is quasi-Pokemon-esque in terms of monster collection. You, the yokai are basically spirits that make people do things, so I think of it as like a kid's fantasy where, where like the reason you farted in class wasn't because you had gas, but because the spirit yokai, who's the spirit of farting, made you fart. The reason your parents are fighting with each other isn't because they actually have problems with each other, but the yokai are giving, making them argue with each other. And so you you try to befriend the yokai and, and, and what have you, and um, get use them against and use them in fights. So that's where the Pokemon thing is, because you're collecting them and then you're taking them into battles. I'm gonna use that excuse next time, by the way. Yeah, just the blend the yokai. Yoga. Blend the yokai. So, we uh, wait. I get, weren't we losing in the beginning? Uh, yeah, you came back. You did it. People, look at nine you. kills. By the way, nine kills. Look at that KD ratio, that's nine folks. More, that's nine KD more than the first, right there. First nine <laughs> slash eight. If we're only counting that one. That was an AI kill. I don't know if we count that one. <laughs> um. I think, folks, that's as high a note as um, uh, I can possibly leave you on here. I apologize that we were not able to figure out how to get to the actual Death Star Trench Run. It's similar to that, except at the end you see a uh, sort of zoom out, and then the Death Star blows up. But that is Star Wars Battlefront Death Star DLC. You can get that today if you have a season pass for the game. If not, wait a couple more weeks. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we will be back with more streams from Kotaku on our Facebook page later this week. Take care.